Hello, my ladies and pretty gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Look What's Happening in the Spiritual Realm with yours truly, Light. Today, I have a message for perhaps the majority of the collective. I'm going to first start by saying this. Have you ever came across a person? You saw them and you almost like were taken aback because they seemed familiar, but you don't exactly know where you know them from it's almost like they you feel a sense of unease around them but not in a negative sense per se but there is this immediate recognition that's what i'm talking about a lot of us in the spiritual community we might see this as a past life connection or a soul family and whatnot but today i'm going to be talking about as you know i'm always about like tinkering around the dark energy because why not right But what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling today regarding this familiar spirit is that of an energy that's sent from, I want to say, a realm where we talk about in this channel as a rite of passage for a lot of spiritual upheaval and reflection. But what I'm picking up on today is a dynamic that for a very long time has puzzled me. And in the blog that I wrote, I tried to break it down by dividing them from the oppressor and the affianced or the intended. Meaning a person that has not yet formulated an identity versus a person that embodies the identity of the shadow realm. But this November, these energies have distinguished themselves. This is what I'm picking up on today. You might want to grab a tea or a coffee because it's that kind of reading. It might go long for those of you who like the long ones. So this is what I'm hearing. This familiar spirit entered your life knowing you. They either know you from some type of place before, like they may have come across you a long time ago and you might not remember them. That's for some of you. And for others, it's a spiritual recognition because this entity, this energy, embodies an entity that is very familiar to you and that has kind of known you since you were in your youth. If you are still in your youth, then this is an energy that kind of has that in you. Not in you, but around you. My bad. So this is what I'm hearing. This energy has been working in tandem with an energy that they resonate with and i've called this energy the oppressor for a lot of you you can recognize it as a narcissist a narcissistic personality disorder not somebody who has the trait of narcissist but this energy i i call them the punisher because they come across as very high standing like high morals but this energy has a very deep state of unrest within them they they have a sense of superiority that they carry meaning i don't even know if they recognize it right off the bat but they look down upon people and this is coming from a place of pain of course but something about you right and the information the dynamic that they thought they understood about you regarding the oppressor regarding certain people in either their life or your life that have influenced or set up the groundwork to pretty much abuse. And this is what I'm picking up on. This energy felt like everything about them that they believed was grand was brought to question. And the stuff that either the people around them, which I would call karmics to clarify this, have said or kind of egged them on to believe about themselves because they live in a very precarious world of lies and the people around them do not know any better they do not want to know any better and this could be people around them or people around you that you're no longer in in touch with that has somewhat influenced this energy to behave in the ways that we're going to talk about today for a lot of you this energy resents you in so many ways and one of the major reasons is because there is a tie that they have with you i do believe it's some type of karmic punishment for them because this energy has 
abused you in some fashion. And this tie, this energetic tie that makes them resent you is that of some type of financial or fruitful energy that completely embraced them or they were showered by that energy of fruitfulness either in a realm of creative energy or in a realm of being able to attract and draw things to them and this energy immediately realized that it was attached to you and we we hear this a lot in the spiritual community but we're going to break this down today we're going to split the hairs because also often this is not a good or a positive thing for you because you end up being objectified and if people do not know how to bear the energy of gratitude if they don't know how to embody the energy of humility then they often turn on you they often turn on you in a way by trying to oppress you but this energy and the what they went around about and did and for some of you family members or people who can dabble in some type of arts crafts in terms of like magic and manifestation may have tried to help them coming from the dark side in order to hook you in or create some type of karmic attachment with you by way of sleep magic or sex magic either way that is what i heard today they're doing this because they're prideful this energy is so embedded in stability and again i mentioned they have this idea of themselves that they are superior that they are the punisher that they are the ones who dull out what people deserve and what people do not deserve and something has happened to them that has completely altered their perception of themselves for the sake of survival and so they have tried to uphold that mentality until they met you and a lot of things it was like the energy of the seven of cups a lot of doors opened up a lot of opportunities and these this energy felt as though it was them that they had attracted this that it was their abundance but they were disheartened to realize that the very person they abused or used or tried to discard in some way or another was the person that brought the abundance to them which brought to question big question mark everything that they believed about themselves and so as they operated from a place like i mentioned they could have gained the support of those around them they could have gained the support of people that they may have consulted when it comes to you and it's all from a place of pride i will get into a part 2 regarding the oppressor and how the oppressor influenced this person meaning the karmic that either is in your life or is in their life that influenced them to sort of solidify this punisher attitude towards you if this is making sense so far let me know so this energy realizing that the abundance that they that they felt coming in rushing in all of a sudden was very much attached to you and so they went a roundabout way meaning either like i said sleep magic or sex magic to get you to attach to them to get you to come to them right it was a summoning type of ritual they were summoning you because they realized they cannot use this abundance without your consent without you being a part of it without you blessing or gracing them with your presence with your conscious consenting presence that everything would be thrown out the window this is what this person is experiencing right now they're experiencing debt they're experiencing all types of debt and the kind of debt they're experiencing is directly tied to the kind of way that they tried to use you so if they tried to use you via via rela relationship the kind of debt they're experiencing is a relation kind of debt meaning people just don't want them anymore they just don't seem to be able to attract long standing relationships and if they were attracted to you to use you financially this energy you're not the only person they use is what i'm hearing you're not they actually have a person beside them which i felt like in the very beginning of this unfolding believed it was a karmic but it's not a karmic that is an energy as well that is karmically influenced but they may not in in and themselves be a karmic they might be influenced by karmic um assertions because like i said this energy and their grandiose perspective of themselves they might be a witch or a warlock in the dark sense 
thought that they can play the same game that they've played with this energy with you. And what I'm seeing is this, like there's a wall. This person is hitting a constant wall, especially come November. And everything is upside down. Like everything that they try to gain is upside down. It's almost like a sand going through their fingers. It's upside down. I kind of wanted to make this a part too, but Spirit is telling me to continue. In terms of what, how and what the oppressor did and how it influenced this, I want to say the punisher, we're going to separate them into the punisher and how they have started to approach you because of the oppressor. This could be a, 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 fa a family member that they heavily rely on for their own decision making process or a family member of yours may not be directly related, but it could even be a, a spouse or a friend, a past one though, that has directly influenced this energy. So what I'm hearing is that this oppressor put on a very, br very fake front and it came from a place of wanting you to experience the kind of heartbreak that they're experiencing. This person might be completely devastated and they're holding on to it. It's almost like a badge of honor of I have something over you because you hurt me. This is the kind of person that would blame you for mistreating you. The oppressor, that is. So this oppressor has, whether it be a karmic in the punisher's life or a karmic in your life, however it is resonating for you, it is the same energy. This energy wants you so fucking badly. They are actually dwelling in the past of every single moment that they may have shared with you. They are the kind of person that has a very delusional way of seeing the past. They have painted it in the way of their liking and they have believed the lie. So they know this though. This is a very sinister energy because they know that what they are talking about regarding you, the kind of slander and gossip and misinformation that they're giving about you, they know it is false. But you know how they're approaching it? They're saying, let me give you an example. They're approaching it in the sense, I really cared about this person. I really do. And I still might even want them. Like, but they don't want me. They're, you know, they were very hard on me. Like, I, this is the kind of energy. But their intention with what they're saying regarding that, that fake love, their intention is to paint themselves as the wounded martyr, the hero, and to paint you as the callous, ruthless person. They're trying to reverse the characters. You get it? They're trying to reverse it. And let me tell you, it doesn't fucking help that you know what they're doing. It helps in a sense where you aren't going to be deluded, but it doesn't help in a sense where it's actually very sick because you see it and the fact that you see them is what they use against you to paint you as a ruthless character they're trying to basically change the footnotes like i described in the blog of your relationship with them they're trying to rewrite history you know like a snake <laughs> and this is the oppressor but their true intention is that they want to use you they want to use the the kind of abundance the kind of luxury that they enjoyed energetically speaking this is the kind of person that is physically hurting from your absence they're probably using drugs and alcohol to cope with it and they might have even been encouraged via drugs or alcohol or had a epiphany as to how they can play or maneuver this game in order to create more betrayals for you moving forward. For a lot of you who have experienced abusive relationships, I'm not telling you anything new. But this is the character of the oppressor. And so you have to understand the punisher, right? The one who I considered the affianced or whatever. I'm so sorry if my channel is getting more and more complicated. I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. The Punisher, right? This is the energy that I believed was unsure about where they stand with you. And they were confused, but they're not. This energy is so egoic and 
This is exactly why they resonated or related with the oppressor. They almost wanted, they were looking for somebody to pan punish for their past. They were looking for somebody to blame for the pain that they were already harboring within themselves. And you became a perfect opportunity. Kind of like the hangman, wrong place, wrong time. You became like the person that they can channel this disgusting energy that they're not dealing with onto. And this is the craziest part for chosen ones. How many people does it take to destroy you? How many evil has to come together and agree even though they resent each other, even though they're in competition with each other, they have to come together and agree on a lie about you in order to destroy you in tandem. They were taking a plan of a bird with two, a one stone with two, a stone with two birds, whatever that saying is. This is what I'm getting. And this was taking place this whole year. This is the kind of energy that has been accumulating and, and shifting and oscillating. But in November, there is a wall that's being hit. And I, I mentioned this in October, the end of October. There's a wall that's being hit. You have walked past the threshold of this energetic wheel, is what I'm feeling. You have passed the threshold. Like for you, the chapter is over. And what I'm talking about here is the remnant of the collateral emotional damage and why it even took place to begin with and their mentality about you and their intentions towards you, if this is clarifying it so far. So this oppressor is the kind of energy that wants you, right? They are in desperation. And this is what the quote-unquote punisher has now realized. Because guess what? Guess motherfuck. Calm down, don't curse. Guess what? They're in the same boat. They're in the same boat. You see? That's what happened. They're in the same boat. They're in the same boat. And the same boat that the oppressor knew they will be eventually. They knew that... They were a karmic towards this person who had unresolved issues within themselves. They knew that they would be in a devastating position because things don't work with you. And you know what's funny? You know why the, this punisher ended up in this position? It's because they have this perception of themselves that is so grand. Like they themselves might suffer from narcissistic personality disorder. Because that's all I can say with the energy, the way that it's playing out. They believed that the only difference is that this one is spiritual. They believed that they can use their forces of manifestation, their forces of in any dark arts, whatever that they want to dabble in, in order to use you, in order to create some type of negative attachment, not towards you, but so you can create a negative att attachment towards them. Does that make sense? That was their intention. So that they can continue to harvest your energy. But that didn't work out. So what what is happening? The energy has to go somewhere. It is left with them. They're holding on to it. They're carrying that energy. And you know what's funny? In the very back, there is the oppressor who is at the bottom of this spiritual ladder, as we know. Sitting down. Excited. They're happy. Because they know there is no way in hell they will ever get an opportunity to be with the collective. They know that. So they have kind of postulated your character to entrap people. They've kind of acted like a pitfall for people before they reach you. So only the pure intentioned, only the ascended in some fashion can actually reach you. Only those who are truly honest and authentic in their spiritual journey can reach you. No fake, no fraudulent energy can reach you. And the oppressor thinking that they can actually influence people around you. Spirit, God, is using them as a filtration tool. You heard me right. A tool. So, I hope this resonated. As usual, I don't reach out for readings. Those are scammers. Whether it's in TikTok, anywhere else. And everything you need to know is in the description box. I highly, highly suggest reading the blog. If you want, if you feel like 
what is she talking about? What's the oppressor? What the hell is he affianced? What the fuck is a punisher? If you're thinking like that, I've used these terms to dumb down some energetic frequencies. And I have described them in the blog. This is something that we're going to continue developing. And I cannot wait for October, the end of October. And we're going to kind of talk about more and break these things down, like split the hair of the devil so that we can understand and see and bring light to the darkness and we are no longer suppressed or eluded or fucked by it. And as usual, I will be here back again with another episode. Until next time, ciao.